Tops Professional Adjusting Accounts Payable Invoices. This course will walk through the process of adjusting both posted and unposted accounts payable invoices. Accounts payable invoices can be adjusted before they've been posted for payment and also after they've been posted. If a check has already been cut, then the only option is to void that check. An invoice cannot be adjusted after a check has been cut. We'll start with adjusting an unposted invoice. To begin, click on AP and enter AP. This screen displays all of the AP invoices that have been entered into TOPS which have not been posted for payment yet. Let's select this invoice and click OK to open it up for editing. Now you can see that all of the fields that were available when we initially entered this invoice are available to us again to make our changes. We'll first change the invoice number. Next we'll change our reference information. We can also change the amount of the invoice and how the invoice is coded. Definitely management fees. One thing you cannot do, though, is take an invoice that has been entered and saved as a bill and change it to a handwritten check. If that's the change you'd like to make, then you would have to either delete the invoice but I don't want to do that. Or post the invoice and then adjust it to mark it as paid. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll just click Post and then click Yes to complete the posting. In order to make adjustments to a posted invoice, we'll have to click on the Adjustments tab within the AP module. This will bring up our Adjust Unpaid Invoices screen. At the top you can see that there are arrows which are designed to allow you to scroll through the invoices that you're adjusting. As you can see, they don't do anything right now because we haven't selected any invoices to adjust. The display shows that there are zero existing entries. So, First, we'll need to select an AP invoice that's been posted, but for which a check has not yet been cut. To do that, we'll click on the drop-down arrow next to AP Transaction Number. This will bring up a listing of all posted AP invoices. Just double-click to select an invoice. The screen now displays the information for this invoice. However, you cannot edit any of it. When adjusting posted AP invoices, you only have two options. You can either cancel this voucher or you can mark it as paid. We are going to cancel this particular voucher. We'll make the effective date the same as the original date. This is a good habit to ensure that the adjustment is made in the same month as the original expense was posted. Next, we'll enter in a description or the reason why we're canceling this voucher. Now we'll just click OK to save this adjustment. Now let's adjust our other invoice. This time we'll select the invoice that we adjusted before posting and mark it as paid. Choosing mark as paid gives us some different options. The first is the check date. We'll enter in the date that this check was cut which paid this invoice. We'll enter in the number of the check that was cut. And then we'll choose the bank account that the check was cut from. Now we'll click OK to save this adjustment. If I now click on my scroll buttons, We can scroll through the invoices that we've selected for adjustment. You can also see that there are two entries in this adjustment batch. 
To complete our adjustments, we'll need to post the batch. Now that we've posted our adjustments, let's take a look at this vendor's history to see how it displays. To do that, we'll click on the Vendor tab within AP, and then click on the drop-down arrow next to Vendor ID so that we can choose the correct vendor. The vendor was My Management Company, so we can just double-click on that vendor to access their information. Next, we'll click on History to pull up this vendor's history of invoices and checks. All of our adjustments display here at the bottom of this vendor's history. On the invoice that we canceled, there is a dollar amount matching the invoice total in the canceled column. On the invoice that we marked as paid, we have a separate line item that shows the check that was assigned is the result of an adjustment. If we click on the Invoices tab and expand the first invoice, you can see the separate line item for the check adjustment. On the right side of the screen, we can also see the details of the invoice, including the coding. Expanding the second invoice will give you a separate line item which shows the details of our canceled invoice. Again, additional information about this invoice is displayed on the right side panel. This completes our TOPS Professional Adjusting Accounts Payable Invoices course. Thank you.